All right, how to get Zoo Tycoon running on your Steam Deck. First of all, you need to go to desktop mode. Now, normally when I'm running old Windows PC games on my Steam Deck, I prefer to um, install the games on my Windows PC and then just transfer over the install folder on a flash drive. But when I tried that with Zoo Tycoon, for some reason, um, with Marine Mania, the maintenance workers are bugged out and like won't work at all so it kind of breaks the game so the solution to that is to install the games directly on your steam deck using lutris which i'll show here in a moment proton seems to be the main culprit for causing the maintenance worker bug so don't use it to install or run the game at all now if you're going to do this off of the original game discs you will need an external dvd drive that can plug in via USB to your Steam Deck. And it's totally possible to do that, but unfortunately, uh, my CDs have some pretty bad scratch marks on them. So they they don't work anymore. I can't I can't get a read off of them when I put them in the DVD um, drive. So what I'm gonna use instead to install these games directly on my Steam Deck are some ripped copies of the CD-ROMs as .iso files. So we need to, in order to be able to install these games, we need to in download two things from the Discover app. One is Lutris, a program for, um, which is really helpful for installing old, old Windows PC games and running them. So I've already got that installed. And then the other thing is, since we're doing this with digital um, like copies of the discs, you need a way to, to mount these images so that you can actually access the files on them. Um, there is a way to do it um, through the console as a command, uh, but I've forgotten the command, but I found a much more user-friendly way to do it. So... Let me see if I can find that. Yeah, here it is. So this, this here is the the little plugin I downloaded that allows you to then just right click on ISO dot fi ISO files, and then you can mount them right here. So I can click mount, and now it'll show up under here. So I'm gonna go ahead and mount both of those. So then we've got both discs um, accessible right here. And now that we've got both of those accessible, we can go to Lutris. And then click the plus button up here, and you want to install Windows game from executable. So you want to punch in the name. Zoo Tycoon. Hit install. Setup file. Yeah, just leave it as default. Continue. And now we need to... Find the setup.exe file on the disk. So if you hit these three dots, you can browse for it. You've got to install Zoo Tycoon first. Setup.exe. Click that. Hit install. And then the installer should pop up. There we go. And now we can just simply run through the installer. There we got that's done, and now we can just exit out of that. And now for some reason, once you close the installer, it then this Lutris thing says like it tried to do some exit code, but it never seems to work, so you just have to click abort, and then make sure you uncheck remove the game files, because otherwise it'll like just delete everything that it installed, and you click yes, so it won't remove your files. Of course, it doesn't show up in your list here, um, but it does show up under here now home games zoo tycoon so it did it did install under drive c here program files microsoft games zoo tycoon it's there so now we can move on to marine mania so same thing again hit the plus install windows game from executable and here you want to make sure you punch in the exact same name the exact same game name as you did when installing the base zoo tycoon because that way it'll try to install into the exact same folder here because when you're installing disk 2 it needs to recognize that the 
first disc is already installed, so that's why you need to punch in the same name here. And yep, install. Uh, yeah, you get this warning, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we know what we're doing. Continue, and then now we gotta go to the marine mounted disc and select setup.exe and hit install. And there you go. There we go. Now we can close out of that. And again, um, it does the exit code, but nothing really happens. You hit abort. And here you don't have the box check, but since you're already installing into folders that existed prior, it doesn't even try to remove stuff. So you're good to just click yes. And now, next step, now we need the no CD crack in order to be able to run these games without the check for CD DRM thing that would prevent you from running the games without the disc in the drive at all times. So I have a no CD crack here, right there. It's a, it's just a, a patched zoo.exe file that you can replace in the install location. So we go here. Games, Zoo Tycoon, Drive C, Program Files, Microsoft Games, Zoo Tycoon, and then this folder. We can dump that. Overwrite it. And now we go back to Lutris, and now that we've installed the games, we can hit the plus button and then add locally installed game. And here, I'm gonna punch in the name Zoo Tycoon. Um, select for the runner you need to select wine run windows games because we're obviously trying to run a windows game and then we need to uh, go to game options tab and we need to uh, select the executable which is the zoo.exe file so we go home games zoo tycoon drive c program files microsoft games zoo tycoon and then zoo.exe Boom. And yep, none of those other settings should matter. We should be good, so we can hit save, and now it'll pop up here. So let's just do a quick test launch and see if it worked. From Lutris, we're gonna be adding it to Steam later so we can run the game from gaming mode. But we'll just make sure it's working. And it should boot us into the tutorial. And boom, maintenance workers are working. Beautiful. All right. So now we can exit out. And now you can, in Lutris, you can simply right click and go uh, create Steam shortcut. And that is it. You can now return to gaming mode, and the game should run perfectly fine from there. And there it is. Shows up in the library already. It's already named Zoo Tycoon. Um, that background. Lutris automatically sets some um, game art for it, but I would prefer to change the artwork. You can change it. I, I, I use a plugin with Decky Loader called Steam Grade DB, which allows me to quickly and easily change artwork based on the Steam, Steam Grid DB database. So I can just come in here and select different artwork if I want it. Let's go with that one. There we go. Now I've got the complete collection artwork on there. And now if we hit play. But yeah, 
there we go. It's all working. And you can see uh, maintenance workers are working just fine. They actually have all the check boxes showing up there. And we'll just do a quick test. Make sure that bug is not happening. We'll place out a bunch of maintenance workers. And we will um, do shift four. The money cheat. Break a lot of fences and these workers should start running like crazy to repair the fences. Whereas before, when there was the bug, they didn't do that. And yep, you can see maintenance workers, they are doing their job. Beautiful. Well, there we go. Easy as that.